have three numbers given to you that represents length of three different pieces of wood, okay? And you're supposed to cut them into equal length and you're supposed to find the greatest length possible. So, how do you begin? Is you look at the nature of numbers given to you carefully. If you look at the first number, 143, anywhere you see a number such that the first and the last digit adds up to give you something equal to the middle value, then that is a property of a number divisible by 11, okay? So, 143 is definitely divisible by 11. So, 143 is equal to 11 times how much? It's very easy because 11 times 1 is just 11, the first digit and the last digit. These are the two answers actually. So this is a shortcut, okay? And if you look at the next number, 78, I know 78 is not divisible by one of the numbers I wrote, 11. So I'm going to go ahead and try with 13. 13 times how much is 78? 13 times 6 is 78 because I know 3 into 6 is 18, all right? And lastly, 117. So I do not waste much time. I have already seen 13 common. So 13 must appear here again. So I'll try. 13 times how much is 117? 3 times 9 is 27. So it's ending with 7. So I can verify with 9 and hence I see that it is divisible. I clearly see that 13 is the highest common factor for each of the three numbers given to you. So the highest common factor always tells you that value, the greatest value possible to divide each of these pieces into. That's it. The answer is just 13 and hence we are done.